Morning everybody, hope you all doing alright, but you're here today we are in London and you must think that I'm crazy for what I'm about to do now. Today we're gonna see the five most creepy and haunted places here in London and this one, the Highgate Cemetery, it's probably the number one in cemeteries. So we are already inside the Highgate Cemetery, I came too early because it only opens at 10 but the guy there let me in and because I was here too early he let me in and he said you cannot leave the cemetery until 10 because the door is locked so I'm actually locked inside the cemetery. Let's check out this cemetery because we are locked in here for half an hour at least. Alright, so second in our list is the Greenwich Walking Tunnel and as the name says, it's a tunnel that you have to walk. No cars, no bikes can go in. The tunnel is around 370 meters long and that's how long this river is from side to side. Usually what happens most in this place is that the tunnel is completely empty, somebody just goes passing by and they see somebody coming they pass by that person and when they look back there's nobody the person simply vanishes and uh, yeah this is the second one in our list let's check it out Not many people at this time, it's around 6 in the afternoon and uh, yeah, it's just a bit creepy because you're under the river if something happens, that's it, you're gone, <laughs> unless you can swim out of the way. We got to the other side of the tunnel, nothing major happened because I guess it's still early but I wouldn't dare to pass in this place in the middle of the night, I guess it's open 24 hours, I'm not sure but uh, <laughs> if I was by myself there, no way. Let's get to the next spot. Alright, so third in our list, we have the 50 Beckerley Square haunted house. It's the house number 50 in Beckerley Square here in London. This house dates back 1827, which was the year where the first incident happened. A lady that used to live there, she suicided herself, she jumped from the last floor down after being abused by her uncle. Since that day, nobody ever managed to live in that house for a long time a lot of people died there was some assassinations some creepy stuff happened in this house there's a lot of stories about if you go on the internet you put 50 Brackley square under the house you're gonna find a lot of stories about it and uh, this is the house A narrow 52 step spiral staircase gives place to the number 4 in our list. We have the old operating theatre museum located in the attic of an 18th century church. It's the oldest surviving surgical theatre in Europe predating anaesthetics and antiseptics. Alright guys, so these were the 4th most creepy and haunted places here in London. For the 5th place we have 2 spots, it's the Tower of London and the West Norwood Cemetery and Crematorium. This cemetery is quite far, um, the closest metro station I think it's Brixton and is around 50 minutes walking from the station. The Tower of London has a long long history behind it and there's a lot of people that have seen a lot of stuff in the Tower of London. There's a lot of history behind it and uh, we're just not going there because it's a highly touristic place 
and the queue will be massive to go there. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Share this video with a friend. If you have somebody that lives here in London or if you're coming on vacation or you know somebody that's coming on vacation, share it with them so they can give a check on one of these places. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys my next trip.